seven things I hate about the Echelon Connect EX4S. The truth is the Echelon EX4S is a pretty good bike. It has a really nice drivetrain. And when you buy it from Costco the way I did, you get one year of Echelon for free. And if you're planning on doing the Echelon classes and not using a different platform like the Peloton Digital App or Apple Fitness Plus, that's a really good value. However, the thing I hate about it is in order to get that free year of Echelon app services, you need to put in your billing information and in one year from the time you put that billing information in, if you forget to cancel it, it will auto bill you for one entire year of Echelon. I'm logged into my Echelon account here and as you can see, I'm on the Echelon United yearly plan and that charges me $400 every 12 months. So say after a year of using this, I decide I don't like Echelon and I forgot to cancel this auto bill, I would get hit with a $400 charge one year after the date of activation. Of course, that's not a bad thing at all if you love the Echelon EX4S and you love the Echelon app and you wanna keep using it year after year and you don't want any sort of interruption in your service after that one year, it'll just automatically charge your card and keep your services going after one year. The second thing I hate about the Echelon EX4S is the metrics. And it's not actually the metrics itself. It gives you all the good stuff like cadence, resistance, and power output. It also gives you your calories and your total kilojoules. So that's all fine and dandy and those are the great metrics to have. The thing that I hate about the metrics on the Echelon EX4S is the lag. I'm gonna go ahead and kick the pedal and I'll tell you when I kick it and then I'll show you how much of a lag there actually is. Now. And there's the cadence. That is a pretty significant lag and for a bike that comes with the screen on the bike, um, I kind of find that to be somewhat unacceptable. And really, this is kind of in reference to the Peloton Bike Plus, which I've been riding quite a bit lately. And on the Peloton Bike, there's basically absolutely no lag at all in terms of showing your cadence or resistance or watts. But over here on the Echelon EX4S screen, there is a lag, even for resistance here. So it's on one. I'll tell you when I turn it to the right. I'll say now. Now and there's the resistance. So the resistance wasn't as much of a lag, but there still is a lag. I mean, really for your casual rider, it's not a huge deal, but you know, just comparing so many different bikes back to back and so much experience with indoor cycling bikes, and the way I see it, if the screen comes on the bike, I don't think there should be that much of a lag. At, at this point with that sort of lag, I think a big question you should be asking yourself or wondering, um, why not just add your own tablet? If, if the tablet that comes on the bike is A, so small, and B, has such a big lag to it. And really, that leads me into the third and fourth thing that I hate about the Echelon EX4S, and that is the screen and the speakers. So I get it, you know, it's a 10-inch screen, it comes on the bike, and it's right there for you. The thing that I really don't like about it is this screen does not turn to the side like, you know, the Peloton Bike Plus and the Nordic Trek S22i. If you wanna rotate this screen, it rotates over the top like this, and then the whole image flips. So if you wanna do like off bike workouts, your only option is basically to come right up here in front of the bike and you can't rotate it to the side either way. The other component of this is the sound system on this little tablet. It faces away from you and the speakers are just really not very powerful at all. Fortunately, there is an audio jack that you can plug in your own headphones or your own audio system. But really, in terms of the immersiveness of the Echelon EX4S with the small 10.1 inch screen and the onboard speakers, it's really just not nearly as good as like the Nordic Trek S22i and the Peloton Bike Plus. Obviously those are much more expensive machines. But honestly, with this small screen on here and the way that the speaker system sounds, it kind of just makes me wonder and ask the question, why the Echelon EX4S when there is the Echelon EX3 and the Echelon EX5 that you can bring your own tablet to and bring a bigger tablet that has better speakers on it. Of course, there is the convenience factor of having the tablet just permanently affixed to the Echelon EX4S and not having to worry about charging a tablet or bringing it to the bike. But that kind of leads me into my next thing I hate about the Echelon EX4S, and that is the handlebars. Now, these handlebars are fine. You know, the, the thing that I don't like about them is 
there is this uh, small tubing, relatively thin tubing compared to most of the other bikes I review. And you know, you can get over that. If you didn't know any better about the thin tubing, you'd be fine with it. It's not gonna bother you. The thing that I don't like about these handlebars is they do not have the ability to move forwards and backwards. And that kind of ties in with the point I made about the small screen on this bike and whether or not you should buy an Echelon Connect bike that has a screen on it at all in the first place. Uh, you know, the Echelon EX5 that doesn't come with a screen does have better handlebars with thicker tubing and also the EX5S can move the handlebars forwards and backwards, whereas on the EX4S, you do not get that ability. Additionally, I don't personally love this arch that it has right here. I just wish that it was a flat handlebar straight across. Like when I'm riding this thing, I find that my hands are uh, being placed on this relatively thin tubing right here and my palm goes up against it. And it's just not the most comfortable handlebars, honestly. The EX5S that I did a test ride on does have thicker tubing and the handlebars move forwards and backwards. So just kind of something to think about, I guess. The last thing on my list of things I hate about the Echelon EX4S is actually the seat that comes on this bike. A lot of the time beginner riders want a soft and squishy seat. And you know what? The Echelon EX4S actually is a very soft and squishy seat. But I think that the thing that they did wrong on this seat is it is too narrow. I think that in order to design a beginner friendly seat for a bike, you need to make it wider and not necessarily soft and squishy, but really uh, that wider component to the seat is the, the part that makes it more comfortable. When I'm riding this bike, since the seat is so soft and squishy, it just kind of feels like it's going up. I wish that this seat was more firm for me personally, or for a beginner, I wish that it was a little bit wider and you know, it could be squishy if it was wider, but I just feel like the narrow component and the squishy component just really don't do a great job for a saddle. Ultimately for a comfortable saddle, you want a bike seat that fits your particular sit bones well, not necessarily a soft and squishy seat. If you are considering getting the Echelon EX4S or spending about $1,000 on an Echelon bike, I would highly encourage you to check out the Echelon EX5. I put a link to it below this video in the description box because it does have thicker handlebars and it does not come with a screen. So if you don't care about, you know, doing the Echelon courses and you want to add your own tablet with a better sound system, a bigger tablet and open platform so you can do like Peloton Digital App or Apple Fitness Plus or whatever platform you want and not worry about that recurring fee that's going to hit in a year after you buy the Echelon EX4S. The Echelon EX5 and also the Echelon EX3 do not come with a screen so they are more open platform. However, if you do want that free year of Echelon, the Echelon EX4S is actually a really good way to get your foot in the door to a quality bike that also gives you that free year of subscription service up front. So it's a really good value. I mean, as Costco, they always have good values, right? Overall, the Echelon EX4S is actually a really good bike and I give it a thumbs up. And also please give this video a thumbs up if you learned anything or you found this video helpful. Click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in my next video.